Eh, nothing to do now, but relax. Monster Girl, Monster Girl Island is... Well, it's not done, but... Hey, we got a semi-finale. <laughs> Depending on if uh, Monster Girl Island will ever be fully done, yeah, it's on the website. And I can, ch I can chill before working on the other part. Bugsy! Yeah, and Sakamaru? Well, you know, uh, bro, we need to get more people onto the site. You got any suggestions? Hmm. 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 I don't know. I was thinking more along the lines we could try to, you know, make, you know, we could just make X nude and, you know, flash those pictures around our website. You really gonna do that? No, because shit, shit between me and X is weird. Like, uncomfortably, lovingly weird. So, I wouldn't do that. Well, I mean... We've been sharing these... We've been, <laughs> we've been careful not to share our nightlife videos, because, oh my god... Especially not on Facebook. We got our we got our relatives watching. <laughs> they're gonna be like, and they're gonna be like, oh gosh, I can't believe you told you were going to shoot, you were going to shoot your shoot seed all all, all over the slime girl. Yeah. Eh, it's almost Christmas, my brother. How you feeling? Eh, well, you know what the day actually is for us, right? Yeah, I do. That's why I wanted to check up on you anyway. Yeah, don't worry, I'm fine. Eh, you know, just just sitting back in my chair, reading, reading some of Dad's journal. They can help us in the upcoming fights ahead, you know. You know I meant to. You know I meant everything I said in that, in the Monster Girl Island video, right? Yeah, I know. I thank you for that. I really do thank you for that. You know, as a rule, you know, as a ruler, I don't really think I'm doing much of a good job. And you, you and the others remind me of that. You know. Hey, bro, let's be real. You are a good leader, first and foremost. Because because our people have literally tried to start a war with all the humans. And you basically just kept going. You kept fighting. You kept doing what you did. And I still... I, I will always... I'll always truly respect you. That not as just my brother, but my, but as a leader, and I do still think Pop would be proud of you. I think he'd be proud of you. Yeah, I just been reading some of his journal, and he just basically details that he basically detailed that he knew that I wasn't ready and. The whole act of him trying to get me ready to do it so that I can make my own choice about it later. Which is very convoluted, and I wish he would have told me that when he, you know. But, can't argue with the results. I'm still a king now. Yeah. So, what are we doing for Christmas anyway? I'm still going to bring in my kid. Are we doing another party or just an everybody party? Oh, you mean it? Ah, uh, yeah. Trust me, Anza Kamaru. We got we got ladies. We're not we got ladies, man. It's not like we're gonna it's not like we're gonna get it's not like we're gonna have strippers in a cake. But I got an idea for G's bachelor party if it ever happens. Hmm. You. You're, you know, Bugsy. You're a good guy, but you have your e you have your own little evil tendencies sometimes. 
Hey, I'm only fucked up to the. I'm only. I only mess with the people I love. That's pretty much it. And I kind of see. I kind of see. G and H E like. They're kind of like twin brothers of me that never wanted to kill me. Like certain, like a certain person whose name starts with a Z. You just, you, you know, we're recording this, and you know he's gonna see it. Yeah, it's just me. It's just me playfully putting my middle finger up to the screen. But yeah, but yeah. I I just try to be a little, uh, you know, and, you know, and Future Me was right. I should really try to be more kind to G a little bit, you know, but still be kind of a, still kind of mess with the, but still kind of mess with them at the same time. Oh, did you hear? So, what's going on with him? Uh, apparently, he's doing some, uh, stuff with Naptown. Yeah, I hear it's, I hear it's pretty, I hear it's pretty hilarious. It's pretty hilarious. Oh, what if someone wanted to read that ex the exploits of it? Well, oh, the exploits of that probably wouldn't be done yet, you know. But it's getting there. You know, this is a thinly veiled thing that we're just promoting our own shit. Hey, 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 hey. We break the fourth wall. It's only natural. Ugh. <sighs> But anyways, uh, yeah, you miss him? Every day I wear this crown, man. It's hard to, you know, it's hard being in the throne room for long periods. Because being in that throne room just reminds me of a lot of, lot of things I lost, a lot of things we, a lot of things we lost as a family. And it just kind of hurts, you know. I can accept my responsibility, and I can accept all the things that come with it. But being in that throne room for too long, it just makes me tear up. Remember when, remember when, remember when Dad dubbed us all knights for a bit? Just so you can study your story training. Yeah, I remember that. Remember we, remember when you hatched your first chow and you had to hide it from daddies. You were like, can, can we keep it? Can we keep it? Oh, <laughs> uh, remember, remember when you, remember when you did that con, that freaking, that freaking concert with your band. Oh, you mean in the third room? Oh yeah, it was called Shazman Don Freaky. Yeah, I remember that. That was that was, Dad hated that. Your music didn't sound like anything. It was just noise, though. Well, fuck. Well, well, the well the music you like is nothing but noise, motherfucker. Take that back. Take that back. Well, well. I can say this, chat pop and your your EDM music is is good. All right, all right. <sighs> so you're just chilling in the studio? Well, you know, Gamzy and Eggius are with me because let's just say Monica and Aridin put put Minka to sleep, and now they're uh, you know getting getting. Going to dry, going to dry land, but in the tide, if you know what I'm talking about. Oh Jesus, how how's that not wake up their kid? She's a silent sleeper, apparently. What it, you know? Why doesn't she have any troll features though? Because Monica made her, and she does have troll. She does have Aridin, you know, Aridin's stuff, but not. Not like everything, which Aridin says is a kind of blessing because, you know, because of how he act, because of how he acted, wanting people to love him and stuff like that. 
Mm. So, so Nick called today. Like, what do you have to? What did Nick say? Uh, well, he just said, you know, he just wanted to know how we were all doing, and he's doing pretty fine, and he wanted us to call. Him. He wanted you to call Mocha. Man, Gene always wants me to call Mocha. And I'm like, for what reason? Me and her don't really have nothing to really talk about. It's just always kind of awkward when we call each other on the phone. I mean, we're not really that close like we used to. And, and you know, the fact that our dad's basically arranged for us to get together is always a deterrent. But Mocha actually is the one that another one another one that actually just shared with me but I'm, I just me and I are just man, I don't know. The feelings were the always the feelings were there but they weren't there. If you catch my drift. Either way, you know. It is what it is. You know, you know, we've been working so hard on like videos and whatnot. Yesterday was a good little break we had. Yeah. See, we wouldn't be working so hard if I just if we just were on schedule and on time with our videos. But you know, our lives are always so. Freaking, you know, stuff always fucking happens when we least expect it. So even when we plan something, it's like, nope, you fate, we take it on to the winds. Uh, other than that, yeah, really ready to fight, you know, Lord English? Oh, fuck yeah, don't, don't even trip or flip on something. All right, I got this. I've been wanting to. I've been wanting to take out that cue ball fuck for a while. And it's, it's green alter ego. I'll be ready. But. But other than that. I feel like. We just haven't been celebrating Christmas because we've been so busy. Hell, we didn't even do Jingle Bell Rock this year. Ah, next year, man. Next year, if, we, if we're not going on a trip. I agree. You know what would know be fucking awesome right now? What? If we could, if we could just, I don't know, I don't know, like, you think we should, you know, I'm thinking we should go into the Chaos Lord Orphanage and, you know, get the Christmas tree. Oh, I'm already two steps ahead of you. Really? Yeah. I mean, the other houses don't fucking care, but I, but I do. See that? See because the you know, all because those three house those houses are just always concerned about themselves and their well being. If they if they ain't a part of the house of you know what or the house of this and that, they don't give a shit. But I did. I got them a tree, and I got them. I got them a PlayStation 4, a Switch, and an Xbox One. Damn, Bugsy. What did you eat? Oh, yeah. Your, your freaking aspect. <laughs> yep. And I made, I made so the gifts will appear on Christmas. With one appearing on Christmas Eve. Damn. I think I just haven't been in the Christmasy mood. 
I've been trying to get into it, and I kind of have for a few days, but it's hard. Because, we know, because you know what happened on this month? It's been a, it's been a hard two years, man. Yeah. I agree. I mean, bro, I locked myself in my room. I just couldn't take it. R just basically didn't want to leave his office. And I just, I just freaking traveled for a bit. I just couldn't, I just couldn't handle it all. Yeah. But, you know, at least we're still making people laugh and making, making everybody's day a little bit brighter. All right. Yeah, you're right. We're still gonna make them laugh all the way to 2020 and beyond. And we're gonna keep doing nightlife, the big big three box network and big three box network TV. We're still gonna do that. And it's just gonna it's gonna be more stuff. Because there's more to come. Can't you see that there's more to come? There's gonna be more stuff with our freaking brands. You know, it feels weird calling them brands. <laughs> That's what they are, man. That's why we gotta market them as. So you don't think it's just like... You don't think it's just the big thing... You don't think Nightlife is just the big three box network in a adultier skin? No, I don't think that. And anybody who th anybody who really thinks that they are high. Or they're or their future girl high SSJ because literally the man has nothing else to do. <laughs> no, 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 no. Every time he ever talks about Tsunami, it's all just disdain and bitterness. If it's like for nothing really, he's just being he's just being a vindictive little he's being a vindictive little asshole for like like he's still get like whenever he talks about Tsunami in like some of his videos he doesn't really do it anymore, but the last time he did it, there's like still so much vitriol from it. Like I don't still I still don't like this. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be an asshole about it like I was before. But I don't like it. Uh, like I say, people who are truly, truly blinded in nostalgia, they ain't never gonna learn that. They ain't never gonna try anything. And when they do, people are always gonna hold them to that one mistake because, you know, you had to, you know, you had to like a dickhead. I'm the one with the damn respect. I'm like, motherfucker, you have no respect. Because you don't understand how TV works. Says the man who took business classes in high school. <laughs> I was like, why do you always use that? Because, man, with those classes I took, I freaking understand businesses. And I'm not trying to, you know, freaking, you know, and every time someone, back in the day when someone would tell, Mr. Future Gohan SSJ about Hi. Future Gohan SSJ about freaking um, Naruto. He'd be like, "You don't know how it works. How do you know he doesn't know how it works? How can you literally tell him? How can you literally? I was like, how can you literally sit there and tell him how he doesn't know if he probably knows more than you? And I was like, more than you. It's like shit." Well, you know, dude probably has a big old throbbing uh, hate boner for Naruto. Like, bitch, you're the one that stopped to know. No, Stuart Snyder dropping a lot of money into Naruto is what killed it. But Naruto itself really had nothing to do with it. It's just the fact that more money was being put into Naruto than anything else. That That was the problem. Eh, it's just, I just feel like people like, people like 
Dawn, SSJ back in the day. They're more of a nostalgia blind, and even when their fa even when their fable block comes back to the even when their the thing they like comes back, they got like a million fucking critiques about it. But mostly they don't come from an actual like standpoint where you're like, okay, this is kinda of bad subjectively this is objectively bad and I'll tell you why. No, it just it always comes from like I don't like this because it ain't what I remember, you know? Like, look at Tsunami now, man. It's like, it is doing its own thing. And, like, you know, go on, to, you know, go on uh, SSJ as a dude. And I'm like, yeah, have fun, man. Have fun. Have fun being like, I was, me and you were just like, have fun being like that, dude. Have fun. We'll all be enjoying anime while you just uh, live in your little hovel of the mind. You know, and, and there's nothing, you know, and I always say this on Sunday morning, there's nothing wrong with just having nostalgia and going back to it occasionally. With me and you, um, I'm looking at, we look at the G4 stuff still on YouTube, and we also look at uh tsunami aftermath and like there ain't nothing wrong with there ain't nothing wrong with just visiting your nostalgia for a bit. And there's nothing wrong with that. But when it blinds you, it's just like like dude, like, dude you need to chill. Didn't someone say that this being nostal like nostalgia itself is like a mental disorder? Who said that? Some dude. Well, that motherfucker didn't know what he was talking about. Plain and simple. Ain't a me ain't a mental ain't a mental ain't a mental illness. It's just like you know you feel nostalgic for something, probably for all the memories you had, and you want to hold on to that in some way. Sometimes it ain't even the characters and the shows he represents. It's the memories you hold within yourself that you cherish, and some of these, you know, and some of our favorite shows hold our greatest memories. But I feel Me? like, but I feel like with Future Gohan, those memories like overshadowed what was going on in the present with Tsunami coming back. And I know. It's like the umpteen time I talked about it to everybody, but still, I still think about it every now and again. There's nothing wrong with nostalgia. You know, like I say, guys, like I said time and time again, there's nothing wrong with nostalgia. You just gotta not let it blind you. You gotta not let it pull you. You gotta not let it take you. You just gotta, you know, I say live in, the, I'd say, you know, like, plan for the future and sort of live in the moment. I just, you know, in a way. But you know, never forget, never forget the stuff that made you you. You know, let me like last thing I really gotta say is like I just you know, when it comes to nostalgia, it's just like you you know you know pace yourself. Don't don't get so hung up on the ideal of your show coming back if you're going to be kind of, you know, you're going to be like Future Gone and nitpick everything. I mean, probably nowadays, he probably, he probably knows how everything works. He is a voice actor, though. Or an amateur voice actor. Nah, he's an eight, he's an, he's a, he's a class one voice actor. I'm still an amateur voice actor, and even still, I just still feel happy. Even though I don't really do gigs anymore. I should, though. No, that should be my New Year's resolution. To try and take more gigs on voice for casting call club. Because, regardless of how I may feel about Funimation and some of the people that are in it, I still love voice acting. You know? Yeah. I know, bugs. Well, wanna go, wanna go, wanna go try these new diet milkshakes? 
Are they any good? I don't know. Bro, I don't, I don't, I don't, fucking, I don't fucking know. But we about to find out. Alright. Well, see you guys later. Peace.